16 people here now facing federal gun charges. It's the latest effort to try to reduce gun violence in Cincinnati. Police and the ATF conducted a third sweep of arrests. They hope this serves as a warning to others that if you are carrying a gun illegally, you will be charged federally. You know, 15 of the 16 people arrested are convicted felons who are not allowed to even carry guns. More on some of the people arrested in just a minute. Meanwhile, this is a big target of this partnership between local and federal authorities. All agree this is just a piece of the bigger puzzle, especially after Sunday's shooting at Smell River Front Park, where two teens shot and killed each other and injured three others. A 17 year old still remains in critical condition. It's difficult to envision a scenario where we ever are able to simply indict our way out of any societal problem. But this ultimately comes down to personal responsibility, taking care of your family, making sure that you don't resort to gun violence uh, to resolve disputes. The mayor says the city is investing $1 million in community safety response programs, and the Cincinnati Police Department is also launching a gun crime intelligence center. It will open next month and will be used to track and trace illegal guns. You know, many local groups are working to steer teens in the right direction. Sure they are, but how well do these groups work together? WCPO 9 News' Jake Ryle is looking into that for us tonight. <laughs> Inside North Avondale's Recreation Center, O.C. Davis knows there's only a certain amount of time to make a lasting impression. I don't know how many games we won this year. It's because it's never been about that. I know this, we save lives. It's the losses from gun violence that stick with him. Like Ed Smith's son, Jordan. He's still with us. Number five, man. We lost him, but he's still with us. We cherish him. Davis, the founder of the Queen City Youth Development Program, is working with 46 families in Avondale, setting goals, teaching accountability, and power through affirmations. He says there are already resources in place to combat teen gun violence and that those resources need to do a better job of coordinating. We can get the school to work better with the rec center. The rec center work better with the Boys and Girls Club. All three to work better with the library. And not just on what they're, um, what they're offering, but also on who they're serving. Davis isn't alone in focusing on positive work. They're walking past memorials um, all along the, uh, uh, the street and it becomes so normalized to them. And we need to be able to create these programs, create these safe spaces where it gives them hope for the future. Cincinnati City Council member Liz Keating says $50,000 has been pumped in for summer programming through Wesley Chapel Mission. Back in Avondale. The way out is us, it's sharing more love. Davis believes there's hope for every teenager, and it starts with others believing in them, the power of mentorship. I get the greater reward. Around the clock. Man, when they come around home plate, and they send you that college invitation, that graduation, right? that first job, and getting married, man, ain't nothing like it. In North Avondale. No greater feeling. It's like uh, you've lived a purposeful life, man. Jake Ryle, WCPO 9 News.